everybody, it's your girl T Gray with the love for low, and I'm sitting here with the best trainer in the DMV, Keith Turner, who is responsible for all this lovely that you see in front of you. How you doing, Keith Turner? I'm doing fine. How you doing? I'm good. So yeah. you guys know that D Gray is all about having a healthy lifestyle, and I 100% believe that it promotes for the best sex life. Oh yeah. You are. The man. Yeah, not the sex man. <laughs> not the, the sex, sex teacher. Man. I'm a sex teacher. But you have gotten um clients and and ninety eight percent success rate, which is awesome. But you've gotten people from one stage of health to the next. How does that benefit them in their sex life? Uh wow. One thing as far as the men are concerned, I can speak for the men. I can't speak for the women. But the men, it increases your endurance. I have witnessed that myself. It, it, it's, it's your stamina, your endurance is, is totally different. I mean, you, you, if, if you 20 minutes, 25 minutes, you, you gonna take it every bit to 60 minutes and I mean, moving and, and, you know, and, and should be, it also affects your, your firmness, you know, a brother's firmness down there, you know, um, it's, it's the stamina with the firmness is, is, is longer too. That's a mind thing though. You know, I mean, when we first started having sex, young, you know, you're excited about it, you know, so you, you, you like, you know, it's like maybe 10 minutes, you know, and that joint is over with, you know, and as you got older, you got used to it more. Now, stamina is like 45 minutes easy, mm -hmm. you know, so it's, I, that showed me that it's, it's, a, it's a mind thing. You're so excited about it, you know, that it's over with the first time. It's like 10 minutes. When you were younger, you know, you ain't used to, now you're used to seeing breasts, you're mm -hmm. used to seeing behind, you're used to seeing vaginas over and over. So they don't all look the same. They don't, they don't all move the same, but it's nothing that's going to sit up there and make you finish in two or three minutes. I don't know if there are any brothers out there to finish in three, four, five minutes, but I hear that they are, but it's kind of hard to believe. Do you feel like if your health is not on point, that you would fall more so in a category of? that two to three minute that may be not satisfying your partner in that same light if you were healthier. I think mean, if you're unhealthy, you're gonna, you're gonna sweat more. He's gonna sweat more, which means his heart is working more. He's not gonna have that endurance if his heart is working more, he's gonna cop out. I mean, he gonna cop out or his heart gonna cop out. He's gonna, he's gonna have to stop, you know? He's, he's carrying carrying a load for two, mainly that midsection, you know? and and, and so that's really unhealthy for you. Your midsection is unhealthy for you in so many different ways, you know. But sexually, your midsection, that's no turn on to a woman. You see on top. You women like to look down there, you know. That joint got to be out the way so she can see what she's seeing, you know. And and brothers like to look down there too. You can't look down there and do an inhale. Down there and he, <laughs> you know, he, got, he got to see, he want to see what he's doing, you know. And even if you use the mirrors, you know, the mirrors beside you, you know, mirrors. You know, you want to look good in the mirror. Why you, you don't want to look like a a a walrus, a, a walrus on top of her. You know, you want to look good. So the stomach got to go. The stomach is gone. Your endurance is, is totally different. Your movements are much easier. You, you know, she, she, it's much easier on her. She ain't got much weight on her. The spread don't have to be so far. If you know what I mean. Indeed, I do. Yeah, spread ain't got to be so far. You know, and it's much more comfortable for her too. You know, um, so. And then the other thing is, you know, what goes in, in your system, it, that joint comes out when she's giving you all sex. Mm -hmm. You know, I've heard, mm -hmm. you know, I say this, I've heard, it. Yeah, it. You know, I've heard women <laughs> say, you, you taste totally different than, than other men. You know, you, you, you have a sweet taste, you know, um, it's what you put in your system. What you put in your system is going to come out. Yeah. You know, and I've heard, I said, and, I'm, and I've asked the questions, okay, well, what do you mean? How do other men that some taste like cigarettes when you're down there some taste like beer or, or alcohol or whatever they put into their system so know? it's not just the pineapple juice it's not it's not just the pineapple juice fellas okay exercise will also help to clean that thing up for you ladies there's, there's no need to choke no throats with no nasty nut let's just let's just keep it real okay <laughs> let's just keep it real so he did mention that being a man, he cannot speak for the female's experience, but I can. Um, so in my journey, in this weight loss journey, it has been three years coming, um, about 100 pounds off. And I can say that, yes, my stamina has increased. My endurance has increased. Although I'm double jointed, 
Praise God for that. I've always been flexible, but my flexibility has also increased trifold. Things that I were was maybe nervous to do, positions I had qualms about trying. I'm no longer in that category. So it gives me a bigger range of what I can bring to the bedroom, a bigger range of the type of fun that you could be having, the type of fun that I have. Um, so having a healthier lifestyle, it benefits you, one, yes, because your heart is now healthy. It benefits you because you're getting off your medications and, and those things. And it's not so vain because I'm not necessarily concerned about what I look like on the outside, but what's happening on the outside has now increased my visibility in the bedroom um, where I may have been nervous to put on certain things. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing that stuff on where I may have been like, you know, you got to tuck this, you got to hide that. Or I had even you been to the point <laughs> of being in the bed and sometimes I would cover my stomach because I didn't even realize how insecure I was about it. Although I was having sex and having good sex at the time, there was still that level of nervousness. There was still that level of uncomfortability with my body. So now that my body is changing, now that I'm getting healthier, now that things are, are shaping, toning, looking real good, I feel different. And from a woman's perspective, I could tell you that there isn't anything that I would do to change that. I can only see things getting better. I can only see things being better. And it's not just you know, you're almost 40, you're in your prime. If I was 40 in my prime, but still weighing 240, I can't say that my sex life would be um, as abundant or as fun as it is where I am right now. I can't say that. Um, so Mr. Turner, mm. one thing we always do for the love below is best sex advice. What would your best sex advice be? Ladies, do this. Stop putting on an outfit and you know you're out of shape. And then you go turn off the light before you get in bed and take your clothes off. <laughs> Join this tacky. Just stop getting in bed and then get under the covers and then start taking your clothes off. Be proud of how you look. If you're not proud of how you look, guess what? He ain't feeling it either. Mm -hmm. That's true. So change it. We're just not going to tell you. We ain't dumb. We ain't going to tell you. You know, we want, we want the cookies. So we, we're not going to sit up there and, you know, and kick you out of bed. But I tell people always, you're always in competition. I'm sorry, it's a fact. You're always in competition trying to get a job, trying to get a college degree, I mean, a scholarship. And, and you know, don't think brothers or sisters, don't think that you're the only one that's, that the other one is looking at. So you got to bring your A game. You want to get them something when they take them clothes off. You want to be up there like, that joint look good. You don't want to take your clothes off and it's looking like, he's like, yeah, I sure want to tear that cellulite up tonight. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna be tripping on that, you know. It's like, nah, nah, nah. He gonna wipe that out of his mind. But you wouldn't look at you saying, she sure look good. Mm -hmm. You know, she really look good. Mm -hmm. That's another turn on. You can turn us on by just the way you look too. It ain't just by your words, your sex appeal, your clothes. When you take off them clothes, the thighs can turn a man on. That butt, that that nice smooth butt can turn. It don't have to be small. I've had some full figure women here that I've toned that have no cellulite, mm -hmm. no fat waves up front, no cellulite in the yeah. back, no dimples on. You know, all that. It's nothing, it's nothing sexy about that. Let's just keep that real. And men, all the men like full-figured women. Some men like full-figured women. They like full-figured, neat women. What I mean by neat is your skin is nice and tight still. You can be full-figured. There's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But you still can be healthy and tight full-figured. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, did that answer your question, though? It answered my question. And I hope that it shed a little bit of light on some of the insecurities that some people may have, or maybe the cockiness. I mean, you may say, well, that brother feels that way because he has, every, all of us have our particular type of women that we're looking for that turn us on. Yes. Okay, and if mine is not, I'm not looking for a woman that her, her stomach bigger than the butt. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you, no, that's, but you know, they can't, nobody can sit out there and say, well, he a trip because of the fact, some of them like light skinned men, some of them like dark skinned men, some of them like the men much taller than them. So everybody has their preference. Mine would be, in a lot of brothers that I hear, yeah, that stomach, man, that stomach is like, you know, man, that joint got to go. Yeah. You know, that, that you know, if a woman, don't care how big her thighs are, she got a flat stomach, small waistline, brother's going to look at her. Yeah. She can be small, but she got a big gut. Man, I'll be like, mm. it's funny. So everything goes back to no matter what, it goes back to that stomach. So if you want to get your stomach right, you need to go see Keith Turner.
You got to go see Keith Turner, ladies. Get that joint right. Okay. Got to go see Keith Turner. I don't know if you all, some of you did see our pictures that we did at the Health and Fitness Expo in January. And you all saw how tight T. Grace tummy was with Keith Turner. So, it works. It sure works. does. <laughs> so, thank you so much. I appreciate you being on the love below. I'm sure the ladies are going to love it. I'm sure the men are going to learn something. And I do want you all to really focus and maybe take this time this year to say, you know what? Let me get in shape. Let me get in better health. Let me go from just stallion to king dangling in the bedroom. Take it up a notch. You know what I mean? Increase that stamina. Increase your energy. Increase your durability in the bedroom. Now, we like that 10 minute quickies. Don't ever get that twisted when you're at work, your lunch break. You need that to get us through. But we also like the 30 minutes, the 40, the one hour. See that you can make it the distance. And 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 pleasure me full circle. I don't want you getting tired. I don't want you sweating, falling over. I don't want to hear about your knees and your football injuries, fellas. You don't want to hear about that. Mm -hmm. But if you get yourself in shape, start taking some of that. D3 helps everybody. Genesis, I know you like to close out what you talk. <laughs> she shows awesome like that. Go ahead. But let me say this, brothers. Yeah. If brothers are listening to this, they are listening. Let me say this. My focus, this is me. I focus on pleasing her first. I'm not saying there's no gimmick. I ain't saying I'm, I'm being totally honest. I please her first. Because I can I can finish in 30 minutes, I can finish in an hour and a half. I'm I'm blessed to be able to do that. That's I hear people can't control. do that. And some people say, wait, does it take you an hour and a half? If it takes an hour and a half to satisfy, oh, I didn't say it take an hour and a half to satisfy. She was gonna be satisfied in the first ten minutes if I can do it, if I can help it. It's just that I'm like, let's go again. Yeah. I mean, without stopping. Let me satisfy her again. Let me satisfy her again. But ladies, you all have gotta get off have to give off an aroma of confidence also. Sexiness. Mm -hmm. Not falsify. I mean, I'm not talking about being fake by it. You know you don't look good. So you're going to try to sit up and wear something that don't fit you right and it looks silly on you. I'm not talking about that. But you can't come in there lacking confidence with us because we're going to feel that. We're going to smell that. Yeah. It's like this aroma that comes Definitely. off. You know, so you coming off in there and you coming out with some sex appeal. Try to be sexy. It don't have to be Valentine's Day. You're going to put on a piece of lingerie or you're going to have a sexy, you're going to fix a sexy dinner with, with a note saying, you know, go to the bedroom, take note number one, take off your coat when you come in the door. That's where your first note is. And it says in the closet, you got another note mm -hmm. saying open this envelope. Note number two, go in the bathroom. The bathtub is waiting. It's a, second. It's a hot bubble bathroom. Do some things. And then note number five finally ends up from eating to, to go in the bedroom now and take all your clothes off. Take your robe off because you already came out the tub. Mm -hmm. You know, lay down there with your legs open and close your eyes. And bring your <laughs> Amen to that. Now, yeah. I don't know what's happening on that floor with them legs open. <laughs> I can think of a couple moment. things. I can think of a couple things. Just some hints on how to be creative in the bedroom. Yeah. Still doing the same old, same old. Most definitely. People oh, need no. that. People need that. People do need to bring some variety to the bedroom. Um, one of my most important things and what I feel like is, is, is paramount is to have no fear. Now, if you're going to be afraid any place else, the bedroom is the last place you should be. You should be willing to try new things. You should be willing to bring all these exciting new whatever. To the bedroom. If you ain't never had no food in the bedroom, it's time for you to get your whipped cream and your strawberries and your chocolate. If you ain't never brought no toys in the bedroom, go on and holler at Candy Bird. She got a whole lot of bedroom candy. Get every toy you can find. Your whips, your handcuffs. Y'all know how T. Gray gets down. Bring all that to the bedroom. Lay it out. Let him pick. Do what I do. Take his ass to the wig wall. Who you want me to be today? There you go. <laughs> I'll you tell you what, I'm, I'm the cable like. guy. I'm coming over to fix your, <laughs> fix your TV. Yeah, it's a little role play. Yeah, role play. You have to have variety. You have to be able to bring something new. Sex gets stale. Granted, it doesn't come with the expiration date. Our body parts do. But sex can get stale. And if you don't keep it fresh, if you don't find what's going to be that new thing, that different thing, um, whether it be tantric sex, um, whether it be bringing, you know, words of erotica or talking dirty or whatever it is and have some real conversations with your partner. Because a lot of times what I find is that the communication is what's missing. You're not having a conversation about what you really like, what you're really into. People are hiding their fetishes. People are hiding who they really are. And the bedroom is the last place where you should hide. 
you should be free to be you. Mm -hmm. And if you want to suck somebody's toe with your finger up their tail, have at it. Just, just saying, have at it. <laughs> just like, what? Tiffany, that's what you're doing. Man, we ain't putting no toes in my mouth. <laughs> no, them toes, man. <laughs> Now, y'all see they keep messing with women some messed up feet if they got the fungus. <laughs> he ain't worried about the fungus. I'm messing with you from the ankle up. <laughs> that's it. That's your concern, the ankle up. I don't know, but she ain't thinking no finger up my butt. <laughs> <laughs> my butt, the only thing, the only thing my butt work is coming out, exits. <laughs> We go first. We ain't going up mine. We gonna go first. So the next conversation would be men and being insecure about anal play. Okay. For <laughs> real. <laughs> so a lot of men come so hard that way. Did you know that? No. You get your prostate milk and it's. That's good. Cool. But I come real hard the other way. I'm fine. I'm just saying. It's, it's, it's explosions. <laughs> not that I know firsthand because I'm not a guy. Uh -huh. But I'm just, you know, a little salad tossing something. Hmm. Not, none of that? No. <sighs> Salad's fine. Salad. <laughs> we don't need to toss it. So clearly, we're never going to end this. We're going to toss on, your salad on on on, 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 a, on a on a nice note. Okay, so we're going to switch gears. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Very well. I appreciate it. I know you guys enjoy. It. When I get finished with this, some of this is going into my blooper reel. You all stay tuned for the blooper reel. Because there's been so many fun things, so many interesting things that have come up. But we touched on a lot of good points. Um, we are going to follow up because the healthy lifestyle, healthy sex life is going to continue throughout the year. Something we've got to change. We've got to change. And we've got to change for the better. And clearly, not just for us, not just for our partners, but so that sex can be bomb. A bomb. Thank you. Y'all have good ones.